Julie from RV Tips and Bits. Um, this is a quick video to solve a very frustrating problem when your refrigerator will not connect to 12 volt battery as you want to drive off and have it run on 12 volt battery. Your propane works, your electric works, but the only thing not working correctly is the connection to the 12 volt battery. I did lots of research when I was having this problem. I couldn't find anybody who would diagnose to the correct fuse and where it was located, but you have just found it. So I hope you enjoy it and it helps solve your problem. Thanks. You want to go to your outside panel behind your refrigerator and look for this black box that's on the wall. You're going to unscrew that from the wall to get easier access if you need to. And there's a screw on each side pretty easy. Just take those out. Once you get the cover off, then you need to release the control board so that you can get underneath it to look at the fuse that you will see located on the bottom side of the control board. You do not take the screws off on top of the control board to look underneath it. You need to pull out the unit itself and turn it over and you will be able to see the mechanism and another fuse that is on that inside of that control board. So again, get under the control board and you'll see that 20 amp fuse sitting there. Go ahead and pull that out and see if it's okay. That was mine. The second fuse that is also located in this area is a DC fuse right here in this little box. You just pull that off, there'll be a fuse in there. I checked it, it was fine, but that might be another option too if the control board fuse is okay. So I carry a box of these fuses in our motorhome for situations just like this. I'll leave a link down below where you can get the same box. Comes in very handy. Okay, let's test it, see what happens. I'm gonna turn on the refrigerator, hoping it goes to battery mode, and it does. We have success. The battery is there, it's no longer flashing, and we have a green light. Yoo-hoo! So there, you do have two other sources of fuses that could be the problem as well. Um, the more common area that most people are familiar with would be your fuse box that's inside of your trailer or motor home. Um, on the DC side, there's a whole line of fuses that are usually labeled, and you'll see refrigerator. You can check that fuse. And then also there's a fuse uh, box area for your chassis if it is a motor home. And they're not labeled, and that will be a future video to see if I can provide better education on how those fuses are set up. But my research shows that there are possibly a fuse there that will break um, if there's an issue between the chassis battery and the refrigerator. I am told that some of the refrigerators are actually charged by the chassis battery when driving and not by the house batteries. So that's a whole nother video. Okay, thanks all. Thanks for listening. Please subscribe and stay in tune for new tips that might come up. Take care.